How to play with the 2x2x2x2 4D Magic Cube, part 3. Hello, I'm Adrian from Custom Cubes and in this video I'm going to show you the X, Y and Z full cube rotations on the 4D Magic Cube. But first, let's recap what the full cube rotations mean on a regular 3D Rubik's Cube. So, the X rotation is like this. The Y rotation is like this. And the Z rotation is like this. Now I'm going to show you the equivalence of these rotations on the 4D Magic Cube. The main axis is very important because the full cube rotation is very simple in the main axis direction. So if the main axis is the X axis, you can do the X rotation very simply just like this. The Y and the Z rotations are a little bit tricky because the top and the cutter cell are opposite cells, so they have to be rotated in the opposite direction. The top cell into the Y direction and the cutter cell into the Y prime direction. The same is true for the Z rotations. If you want to do a Z rotation, you have to do a Z on the top cell and the Z prime on the cutter cell. So if the Y axis is the main axis, then the Y rotation is very simple, it's like this. But the X and the Z rotations are executed opposite on the top and the cutter cell. So this is the X. And this is the Z. And last but not least, if the main axis is the Z axis, then the Z rotation is very simple, like this. But the X and the Y rotations must be executed opposite to each other. Okay, but let's go back to the X axis as the main axis. And let me show you one more time the full cube rotations. So the X rotation is just like this, the Y rotation is like this, and the Z rotation is like this. Thank you for your attention. In the next video, I'm going to explain what the embedded and the expanded cells mean. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and save or share it with your fellow cubers. And if you haven't followed or subscribed, do it now. See you in the next video. Bye.